if you want to learn about fashion, please go to Teresa. It's the it shop in Munich. It's the best shop to learn about the latest collections, about the new fabrics, about, about the new trends. You really should go to my Teresa. And who is behind my Teresa? Who is framing Lodomia, Mary, all the latest designers? It's Susanne Botchen who runs My Teresa. My Teresa is a must in Munich. It's the Uber shop. Come on stage with Susanne. All my girlfriends are addicted, addicted to My Teresa. And come, please have a seat. Susanne, this panel is called Passion for fashion. What is, how would you re describe your passion for fashion? There has always been a passion for fashion, and it's um, from day one. An intuition that um, started a long time ago, and um, it, yeah, it went on with uh, starting our own shop in Munich. My husband and I, 25 years ago. Here he sits. Here he is. Here he sits. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we founded Teresa 25 years ago in Munich um, without having any plans. It was just going for it. And um, yeah, it has ever since been the best thing. It's wonderful. But what is the fashion thing? What drives you to fashion? What is it? Are this the designers? Are this the collections? What, is, what drives you to fashion? I can only say it's an intuition. And um, it's a passion for the thing itself. It's um, everything about innovation, it's design, it's what actually an understanding what a woman really wants. And um, yeah, and we did that um, for quite a while until seven years ago, my husband had the great idea of starting myteresa.com. I always oh. say his best idea after marrying me. <laughs> And um, yeah, and that's when we started, my Teresa. But Susanne, what always strikes me so much, you're always ahead of your time. You have the latest designers, the youngest, the coolest. How may, do you manage this? How do you find this innovative people? How, wh who is your, in your notebook? Who, who is in your address book? Who are your influencers? I think it's, um, it's lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It is traveling, mm -hmm. it is watching people in the streets, it's, um, I can't explain it to you. It's all it's on more intuition. It's more than anything else. It's all on intuition. By the way, this whole conference is on intuition. You can't appreciate it too much, it, it, you, it, high enough. It's on intuition and Susanne is an icon for intuition. This whole shop in the middle of Munich is very inspirational. And now you have the, as you said, your husband founded um, myteresa.com, the e-commerce shop of myteresa, and it left the atmosphere of Munich. It created another atmosphere, another hype. I want to invite my dear colleague, Melissa. Come on stage, where's your chair? Come, let's have a discussion. Mm -hmm. Because this is Melissa Faber-Castell. She is the fashion icon in my office. Look at her, it's by, wow. look at her. Oh my God. She knows everything about fashion. And Thank she knows you, everything Cindy. about the internet. Yes, 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 yes. So I think she, you could help me a little bit with yeah, the e-commerce and ask Susanne, which I'm very much bonding to, because, you know, sometimes the, it's a prejudice that fashion is to, goes together with arrogance. With Lodomia and uh, Mary, you just saw it's not, it has nothing to do. It has, um, and sometimes people are a little bit shy to go into these cool shops and um, f don't feel comfortable. With, in Susanna's shop, the opposite is the, is the thing. The opposite, the, the, everyone is so friendly and everyone is so up to date. I love it. Yeah. Thank you very much. I love it too. Yeah, and you too, uh, Melissa. Yes, what drives much. you to my Teresa? Yes, I love com. it and I always keep coming back and uh, moving here from New York. Uh, it was such a relief to find Teresa and now my Teresa. I want to ask you what, in your opinion, is this difference between 
uh, the overall experience between in-store shopping in Teresa as opposed to myteresa.com. What do you think is the value added to the customers? I think the development for online shopping has been there for quite a while. And um, the, our customer is a global customer. Mm -hmm. um, there's, especially here in Munich, we've got a lot of people coming from abroad. Mm -hmm. And um, I think they appreciate the edit. They appreciate offline and online. But it more or less started, as you know, offline. And um, you know, one came to the other. We always like went for, let's say, the real thing. We were the first. Uh, shop who uh, started Prada ready to wear in uh, Germany and um, There's a lot else. I mean we opened our first store with Deutsche Gabbana. They were really newcomers back then Yeah, because Both you have a really good direct. feel for brands. So, you know, and this thing developed with new brands and um, so I always followed kind of a red line, let's say um, internationally what a global woman wants mm -hmm. um, so this yeah, this led there that we, we became, we had a, quite an international reputation also in Munich. And... Um, what a does a global woman want? <laughs> <laughs> the global woman, I think she wants, she wants a good edit. I think our core thing is, is the edit, the curation of brands. And we try to offer our client um, the best of everything. In terms of our, our main thing is uh, all the luxury designers, but also mixed in some contemporary brands. Just something, I don't think there is a huge difference between a woman um, living in Munich or a woman living in New York City or in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. um, they go for more or less, you know. But there is a specific point that you tailor, like you have some Arabic uh, customers that you specifically tailor the experience for them. And how, how does this vary from country to country to you? There are certain specifics per country, which we could also experience uh, offline. And now online, I think we very well know what, what a woman wants. Mm -hmm. And there is country specifics. There is shoe sizes. Mm -hmm. um, Asia Pacific needs really small shoe mm -hmm. sizes. And, uh, but also in terms of taste level, mm -hmm. um, for example, the Middle East, um, they like a bit more gold than we do, probably. Um, but um, yeah, we are, um, with this experience online now, we are um, uh, sending to over 130 countries. Um, and we have that global clientele, and she is, um, she's very well informed. Um, she's mobile. Yeah. And she knows what she wants. and. Um, as a consumer who loves shopping online, and I keep coming back to Teresa, myteresa.com no matter what, even though every day there's new options, new, new places to go. What, what is it that differentiates you guys? What makes you so unique that people come back to you no matter what? Well, I think our approach is, um, first of all, it's the, it's the curation, it's the edit of the brands. Um, then I think we see ourselves to have a soft touch, a feminine touch to it. Mm -hmm. um, we got that uh, continental, let's say, also kind of approach mm -hmm. to the brands. Well, and all that paired with German efficiency, I <laughs> guess, <laughs> in terms of in terms of logistics. We've got a great team mm -hmm. That's great. working with I'm, us. I'm, I'm so happy that Susanne immediately confirmed that she will join us. We go to. Um, um, we will have a DLD um, dinner in Palo Alto. We will be in New York. And I'm happy to bring Susanne with me, with us, with the DLD to New York, to Palo Alto. We do a little e-commerce there, e-commerce sessions there. And Melissa, tell yes. me, why are you shopping um, on myteresa.com? What makes For many you reasons. bring there? Basically, the, the, the obvious, because they have the best selection, and I think you play a big role. This is not a commercial. It's, you know, it's not it's a commercial. True. We mean it. <laughs> Susanna wouldn't be here on stage if she wouldn't, if we wouldn't be not so enthusiastic as we are. Yeah, exactly. And also, I, I want to know from the brand's perspective as, as well, because you have this incredible selection. What makes it so special for the brands to be sold on my Teresa? Why, do, why are they so loyal to you? What, do you? what is the value added to them that all these great brands want to sell in my Teresa? Well, I think they, um, 
they like the global platform mm -hmm. on one hand. But on the other hand, um, with this long, let's say, heritage and experience that we share with them, uh, most of the brands we've been selling for quite a long time, they know about us being really serious about them. We give them a platform in also showing each of their DNA. We don't, you know, mix too much. We, we show them the way they want to be shown, mm -hmm. which neighborhood of other brands, um, the way we style it, um, all those things go together. And uh, we respect very much um, what they want in terms of pricing, in terms of, you know, all the things that come together. So that created within the last years, that created really our reputation. Um, they know they are safe with us and uh, they know it's going to be treated in a professional way. The way we market it, the way we um, advertise, um, we would never do anything they wouldn't want. Um, and um, yeah, and we show them the way, the way they want to be seen. Mm -hmm. Susanne, if, if my daughters would go to, that they go to my Teresa, but somehow it's not that, it's very exclusive. So they do a mix between my Teresa, HM, um, what else, um, um, what's Sarah? Which is all great, this she's gonna be the client of tomorrow. You think so? I then totally think so. I super appreciate it. I got a daughter. She's more at Zara than at uh, my Teresa, obviously. Um, yeah, I think they, you know, they, th this is the client of tomorrow. They shape their fashion consciousness. Mm -hmm. And that's all good. I mean, they need good shoes and they need a good handbag. Absolutely. Yeah. But I want to know also, who is the my Teresa woman? Who, who is she, in your opinion? Who? It is a cool and global woman out of wherever, if it's Germany, if it's, it's, it's worldwide. And um, we are actually right now starting a very interesting project. Um, like today, this is um, exclusive for DLD, but from tomorrow on, we are also showing online. We've got um, a story of women ambassadors now for myteresa.com. Wow. And um, the first one um, you will see here. We are very excited. This is first time seen on DLD Women, so we're very excited of this launch. This should be a movie. Where is the movie? A video. So I'm a TV host, and I write, and I DJ, which is, well, I sort of select music. I model, I suppose. I am a shopaholic. I don't know, there's something about the process of feeling like you're collecting a gem that I really enjoy. My favorite outfit for the imagery on the shoot was the Valentino one. I think an outfit is incredibly important in terms of self-confidence because the way you put something together and the way that you um, express yourself is quite often um, through clothes, even if you don't even know it. The way I shop is kind of instinctive but also impulsive. My favorite outfit in real life would be maybe the Saint Laurent leather dress. I play different characters, and that's why I like the clothes. This is Alex Ketchum. I know her. That's great. Thank you so much. Who, who of you know who, who this girl was? I know, Steffi. <laughs> Melissa, who is this? Alexis. I don't know. Oh, come on. She's a fashion icon. the difference icon. between the generations. I think people know her here. Yes, She's the icon the right now. Icon. It's Alexa the. Chung. And we are very happy to have her as our like, first fashion ambassador. And followed then by Laura Brown, Harper's US. Followed by Mimi Zhu, uh, mm. DJ, who is going to mm. curate. And yeah, so this is a very exciting project. And we <laughs> Look, are very, this, very happy. This is, this is my Teresa. I had no idea who she was. She was very sympathetic for me. I thought, this is, I could. This, she's cool. She's but, very cool. And, and Susanne, Susanne knows who is cool, and she teaches me. <laughs> what would you teach me to wear next year? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that question. I would say everything is allowed. <laughs> <laughs> we do a personal thing afterwards. <laughs> you look great. Thank you. <laughs> 
Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. This was a fun panel. Let's continue. Yes. <laughs>